We are both given very two distinct outdoorsy looks. Pajama jeans. Pajama jeans. This is what I would wear on my second date with a guy when he's like, you know, you want to go fishing? I'd be like, <laughs> sure. And I would show up wearing this with a pole. And I would catch a fish and then that fish off. They Do don't. fish have boobs? <laughs> we can talk about it. Hi, I'm the toxic lubricant that left you looking like an irritated asshole, <laughs> Trixie Mattel. <laughs> and I run a specialized hotel and telephone service that provides gentlemen the company of a young lady for a short while, Katya. And welcome to mm. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show, not yours. <laughs> My thing fell off. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Miss Darian Lake from season six of RuPaul's Drag Race. Make sure you get to RuPaul's Drag Con LA. That's May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. May 2nd is Pandora's birthday and she's gonna be 87 years old. So bring her a gift or a card. See you there. Big kisses from the big girl. I feel for the first time we're talking about something that I have... Um, the upper hand on? Yes. I wouldn't go so far as the, to say that. The outdoors, the woods. Well, I was raised by wolves. I will say maybe I'm biased. I don't think it really gets prettier or better than like rural Midwest. Like Northeast Wisconsin is beautiful. If you go somewhere where there's actually seasons and there's actually trees, it's lit. New England, fall, fo fully, I say foliage. Fo foliage, 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 tourists, foliage, foliage, fall foliage. I'm obsessed that you can't say foliage. Foliage, foliage, it's foliage. I say foliage. <laughs> um, well, something about the outdoors. <laughs> the looks. Oh, I love flannel and straight leg jeans and like boots. Boots, yeah. And like a dad A rucksack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I worry that people aren't going to think I'm fashionable. But it's okay to be from the country and dress like you're from the country, right? I don't think you're in danger of anybody ever thinking you're fashionable. <laughs> I've never worn jeans and drag until now. It's <laughs> hot. Oh, denim. Oh, denim. I will say something great about living in the country was what? privacy. 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 I spent so many of my days alone in the woods all day. Now, what'd you do in the woods? A lot. I had a tire swing. You know, climb trees, build forts, chopping. Oh yeah, you know we did. We did. Uh, me and my friend, uh, we made a huge satanic uh, ritual space in the woods. <laughs> Something fun to do. <laughs> we did, and we walked around it. Did you think that you were doing like? Were you we ever did. a kid and you're like? Yeah, we thought we were doing rituals. Am I magic? Yeah, yeah, we thought we were doing Am rituals, doing Mama. Yeah, we were doing rituals. Were you turning it out? We were turning it out. We turned the seize magic the craft party. once. Yes, totally, <laughs> <laughs> totally. Were you a Boy Scout? Absolutely not. I was a Boy Scout, but I'm from such a like country area. We would go to the Boy Scout camp that was in a bigger city than where we're from. So it'd be like, we're going to rough it in a place closer to like something like a Walgreens. Oh, wow. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. this ain't right. Mom, at my house, yeah. we're eating our own turds. <laughs> well, we're not eating our own we're turds. We're eating some out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're so broke, we had to just the cat to feed the dog. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. So much. <laughs> do you ever do like stargazing? You know, look up at the sky like, oh, there's a... Uh... Oh, Cassiopeia. <laughs> yeah. Cassiopeia. What, what are the big ones? Cassiopeia. The what Big is... Dipper. Oh, is that Little Dipper. Dipper. Yeah, that's the only one Hercules. That... Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, Cassiopeia. Do you ever do the poor people thing where you look at the clouds and do shapes? We did one better. How about this? You take a pic uh, take a piece of black construction paper, and catch snowflakes, and look at them with a magnifying glass. That is poor. It is. We did a Catholic school, and the, you know what the moral of the story was? Everybody's different. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Every snowflake was. It was. You could see all the detail. That is God's mama. God's God's it work. It is. It is amazing. That's God's work. <laughs> she said hi. Cool, mama. Get into it. Oh, God. <laughs> God said hi. <laughs> I love God. No, you don't. I do. F you. Did you ever, when you were a kid, sleep outside? You know, sometimes like, mom, let me sleep outside. I slept on the trampoline once. Yeah, I sleep on the trampoline. Yeah. You wake up wet. You do. What's I, with that? I don't know. I thought I had went pee pee. Oh, you know what it was? It was God being like, you know what would be funny? I'm pissing on you. Ooh, I'm pissing on you. Ooh, shit. Okay, I will say this look, I do look like a guy from the back. 
<laughs> yes, you do. Put Amy Schumer to cook out. <laughs> <laughs> I hate fishing. <laughs> I hate it. Have you done ice fishing? Yes, of course. Danger. Never done it. It's so weird and boring. Who is ice fishing? You fucking drill a hole about this big in the ice, and you hope the ice is thick enough to hold you? Yeah, let me get you. It's just an excuse to get drunk. You think? I've, yeah. All fishing is just an excuse to get drunk. And then people have ice, uh, like, um... Ice what, huts. Ice shack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it sits there on the ice, and you just hope it never falls in. People drive out on the ice. Also, how are the fish alive? They're way down there. But they're cold-blooded, I get that. But if the water's frozen, how come the fish aren't frozen? How come the water's only frozen on the top? Mother Nature said. God said, hi. <laughs> you ever had sex in the woods? <laughs> That's so sad. I know, but we had makeup contest, make, not makeup contest, um, make out contest in the woods. There, it was uh, in high school, we, we, um, we did this, like we were dancing. And then we would, um, we'd like do, you know how? Did you kiss girls? We, yeah, we were kissing girls. <gasps> did you get um, boners? Uh, I did not have a boner because we went on so long. It was a makeup, it was a makeout contest. So who could go the longest? But I don't really know what the point was. Anyways, um, Mark and whoever, he's the dead one, murdered. Uh, uh, <laughs> drool hanging. Mommy, they had drool hanging. They couldn't keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> drool hanging. <laughs> Oh, did you f in the woods? You f in the woods, you well, f bitch. Freshman year of college, me and my boyfriend at the time, we both had roommates, and one day we wanted to just like make out or be alone or whatever. And we were on campus, and the campus in Milwaukee had like a lot of bushes and trees, and we just like found a bunch of bushes. Yeah. No blanket, just us making out, touching in the pants. <laughs> uncircumcised. People are such uncircumcised haters. People need to grow up. People need to grow up. Discrimination is gross. What are you talking about? People hate people with foreskins. Why? P gay people are rotted. Are you serious? Are you? This is a thing? Do I you not know about this? I don't know about this. I thought they liked foreskin. A lot of people are really grossed out by intact foreskin. That's like, how your should be. People are, looks like an, uh, what do they call like an anteater or whatever? People are gross. Your used to look like that. Yeah, before some weird rabbi cut it off and sucked the blood out. Sorry. There was a hepatitis like outbreak in the in the Hasidic community once because the because because that reason. Crazy mama. I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> I also kind of like the way people's heads smell nasty when they come in from the cold. Like you know hat hair, like a fuzzy hat. No, no, no. Like you know how you come in and your head smells kind of nasty. No. <laughs> No! You, you don't that's know? what I mean. Is it from a hat? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, that's okay. I guess that makes sense. It is funny when people take their hats off and their hair is plastered to their head. Yes. If a man comes in from chopping wood and his cheeks are all ready, I think that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you the sledding? I used to yeah. go sledding with the homeschool kids. Oh, yeah. Because, by the way, every day of their life is a snow day. <laughs> but it was the very religious homeschool kids. So they'd be sledding in floor length skirts. And I'm like, this is crazy. Y'all are Sarah plain and tall. It is, <laughs> it is December. Can we get some leggings for Mary Sue <laughs> yes. and Phineas? No, not Phineas. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. I didn't say anything. Okay, well, don't <laughs> start. I have to say something. <laughs> I hiked in the wilderness. 50 miles and then I slept in a tent, no plumbing, outdoors. Your tent didn't have plumbing? So it was pouring rain, we're hiking all, I'm talking into the moment we wake up, to the moment we go to bed, we're hiking. But Gore-Tex hiking boots, mama, at the end of the day, I took off those boots, feet dry as a bone. Gore-Tex. Covered in blood. <laughs> Tried blood. Tried blood. Was this before phones? Oh Not phones, God. but cell phones. No, I didn't bring a cell phone. Oh, uh, sprained my ankle, no phone. Dead. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. So the Gore-Tex, remember the Gore-Tex hiking boots? Sure. 50 miles in, we say, forget it. So we we hop on a whatever to um, Belfast. There's a Russian-themed gay bar called the Kremlin. At, this was at the height of my Russian obsession, so it's like, I gotta go. I went there. This guy got me so drunk. He was like a builder. You know, like a... Um, uh, construction man, <laughs> construction man, you know construction man. And he brought me home and he wanted to eat my ass, but I wouldn't take off my boots. So I had my pants down around my ankles with my boots on his uh, bed, 
like straddling, like, holding onto the headboard, just sitting on his face. My weenie wouldn't get hard because I was so drunk. And he kept saying, what's your kink? What's your kink? And I was like, I don't know. And then I went home. <laughs> Never took the boots off. Never took the boots off. The outdoors can be very cleansing. <laughs> mm. Outdoors, not, it's not the, it's, listen, what is the outdoors, but the indoors with no walls? There you go. Look, an indoor outhouse. There is a place called, a, uh, what's it called, Kentucky Kingdom? In Kentucky? No, no. And it's a biblical themed theme park. And there was a girl, she was on one of those drop rides. Mama, legs decapitated. Legs chopped off. You're riding a God-themed ride and your legs got chopped off? Take the hint. <laughs> Ain't nobody looking out for you. Nobody can, nobody's even looking out for you from the knee down. <laughs> legs chopped off. Legs chopped. <laughs> her, she, her legs got bangs. Let's just say that. <laughs> oh my God.